Hi. Let's talk about a spelling practice, Excel spreadsheet, that students can make and use. We are going to get Excel to speak the words, and check the spelling of the answer. We will learn to turn on speak cells on enter, to turn off the formula bar, to change the direction when pressing the enter key, and to make a column invisible by changing the font to white. Finally, we will use the duplicate cells function to indicate the correct function. We could also use an if-then formula to test the answer, but that is for another different video, so we will look at that some other time. So let's fire up Excel and get started. First we will set our options, that is, the enter command direction, and next the speak cells on enter option, from the main icon, select Excel options, then the advanced button. In the advanced editing options change the direction to right, next, select the customize button. Change popular commands to all commands. Then scroll down the all commands box to reach speak cells. Highlight speak cells on enter and click the add button. You should now see the speak cells on enter in the right hand box. Click OK to close the Excel options box. Now, at the top of your screen you will have a little speech bubble icon in the quick launch area. Click this once to turn it on. If you can't hear anything then check your audio settings. Next, type something into a cell to test the speaking. When you press enter, the word will be read to you. Click the icon again to turn it off. In cell A1, type listen. Listen. In cell B1, type write. In cell A2, type test. Select column A and B and leave them highlighted. On the home tab, select conditional formatting. Choose highlight cell rules. Then duplicate values. In the dialog box, change light red fill with dark red text to green fill with dark green text, and select OK. Select cell A2. Change the front color to white, so that you can no longer see the writing. Test. Press Enter. You should hear the word read to you, and the cursor should now be in cell B2. Test. Type in the word that you heard. Press Enter. If your spelling is correct you should now see both words in green. However, you will have been able to see the target spelling word in the formula bar even though it was invisible with white font in the column. So we will turn off the formula bar. Select the view tab and untick the formula bar box. Type your spelling list in column A3 and below. When you have all the words you want, copy down the white font formatting. It would be nice to move to the next new word when we type one in. We can do that by protecting the other blank cells. Then, when we click enter with our answer, we go straight down one and back to column A. Highlight column A and B. Select format on the home tab and choose format cells. In the protection tab, untick the lock button. Click OK. Now click format again on the home tab and this time select protect sheet. Untick the select locked cell. Don't bother with a password, just click OK. Now try your spelling test again and you will move smoothly through your list. Good luck with practicing your spelling.